Hello, I'm Jeff Frawley with Adventure Hunts and Extreme Expeditions Hunting Guide in Alaska and this is the boot system that we wear for doing most of our hunting in the Alaska range and especially for you guys that are coming sheep hunting with us this fall it's really important that you get this right. The first component is a waterproof breathable kit boot. This is an old pair that I've got. They have a neoprene booty on the bottom so you're going to have to get boots that are a size, half size, full size, maybe a wide instead of your normal boots. They're Vortex top, they're very lightweight, they're waterproof, they work well. They are a little bit fragile, so there's a couple components that need to be here. Don't get a wading shoe, get a quality hiking boot. This is an old pair of high techs that I used to wear. I'm using them down here as my wading shoes in New Mexico now, but I've done a couple goat hunts in them. There's a multitude of companies that build good boots for this. Just take the waders with you, try them on with the boot, get a quality boot. I, I don't like a real tall stiff boot, I actually wear boots that are lighter than these on most of the hunts. The other component that's integral to the system and highly important is the gaiter. This protects the waterproof hip boot. It goes around your leg under your boot. Get the get gaiters with velcro down the front. These gaiters from Outdoor Research Crocodiles, second best would probably be the Kenetrex. Don't worry about them being silent for sheep hunting or quiet fabric. Cordura works fine. These are a lifetime guarantee. They protect the boot and they allow you to roll the boot down so it's not up all the time. So let me put these on, I'll show you how the whole system goes together. First thing you want is you don't want to wear cotton socks. If you can't wear wool, you'll have to go to silks or some type of, of liner sock. I wear merino wool, so do Randy and Rod. When you get your boots going, you just want to take your, your waterproof boot and by the way, if you notice a label on these, they don't make these anymore, so we're using a different brand now. You just pull it on like a big oversized sock. Make sure you don't have any wrinkles. Take your boot. Your boot goes on right over the top. Um, these are actually a size 12. I normally wear a size 11 in this cut boot. I do have another pair that I'm wearing now. They're Keens that I wear an 11 normally. I actually wear 13s in the Keens, but I wear two pair of socks inside them. Um, you just put your boot on over the top just like you normally would. Once you have your boot on, this will do it like I'm really doing it. Double knot, pull everything down. Then I grab my gaiter. Gaiters typically I put mine on with the buckles to the outside so they don't clip, snag, or wear on the inside of my other my other boot or on my other gator. You just put your gator on over the top. Make sure it's sized so it's so it fits. You don't want the gator too tight around your calf. It'll bind. It'll also prevent you from using one of the really nice features of this hip boot system. You can see the boots up. This would then clip around your belt loop or to your belt to hold the boot up just like this. You tighten it up. And the ones that we get from from Patagonia actually have a drawstring around the top so if you do fall it prevents it from ballooning and turning into a sail and carrying you down river so you're ready to go you can walk in water all the way to here and stay perfectly dry start raining and just pull your boot up once you get into the high country if you don't need the boot up the brush isn't wet it's not raining you just unclip it loosen your gaiter take your boot and fold your boot down it's real important when you do this that you fold it like I'm folding it here I take my straps, come around the top of my boot. Sometimes you got to adjust them a little. Clip it around. Don't make it too tight, just a little snug. And set this so it rides right below the top of my gator. By doing this, I've effectively got a knee-high waterproof boot now. I can go through basic swamp, cross a small stream, step in a puddle. My foot's still dry, and I'm effectively wearing a hiking boot with two pair of heavy socks on. That's what I've got. It works like a million dollars. Once you get used to it, you don't even know you've got them on. At night, it's real simple. You take your boots off, you turn the hip boot inside out, just like this. You hang it up in the tent, and it'll be dry in the morning. It's something that no other boot system offers. So, there you have it. If you guys have additional questions when you see the video and you get the letter that I'm sending out, don't hesitate. Give me a call. We'll get you all the info.